dudes here. Welcome to my YouTube channel, How to Big 101. This is for a lot of y'all out there that's just doing the most retarded shit in the world. You hear all the stories about jail. I'm pretty sure that you know somebody who went to jail. Um, you've had your little brushes before and everything, but niggas still continue to do bullshit. First things first. I've been down to a lot of time. County time, state time, federal time. Um, came from Valhalla, went up north, downstate, Gowanda, fucking Wyoming, fucking out. I've been all over the fucking state. Real shit. Sing, sing, actor. Um, niggas have a fascination with just, you know, being in a particular lifestyle. Um, I'm not somebody who's going to talk to you about some shit that I don't know about. I was out here young, getting a lot of bread, big bread. I went down, I didn't mind. First things first, who you want to be thugs and shit? When you get locked up, don't tell on nobody. Don't rap. Don't sign nothing on yourself or nobody else. And they sit you down in that little thing, ask for your lawyer. They'll give you somebody if you don't have your own, you get your phone call, call who you got to call get the process to roll, and um, take your little bum-ass bullpen, sit down on that hard-ass bench. It's, it's your time. It's time to go. It's time to go. Now, they usually try to break you how you sitting in this little dumb-ass cell all night forever till you get arraigned, and then you go to your county or wherever you go. Now, once you get to that county, you're going to most likely be able to use a little pay for and shit. Call the people that you know for a fact have been 100 with you all the way. And you try to get your process started. Now, if you was in the game, you better have some motherfucking chicken. That's it. You better have some motherfucking breakers. If you ain't got nothing, if you came in, number one, what the fuck was you doing? The whole time you was out there, what was you doing? Because if you don't got your own bread, you're a fool. You've done something tremendously fucking wrong. Because I'm telling you, so many people are going to distance themselves from you. They're going to disappoint you. They're going to lie to you. Send you all kind of fucking ghost packages and ghost money orders and all that. I'm telling you, shit just never pops up. It's on the way. Oh, I sent it. Hey, yo, hold on. I forgot to. It's going to be a whole bunch of dumb shit that you don't want to deal with. So have your own money. Have some bread somewhere in the cut that you can send somebody that you trust to go pick it up. Do X, Y, and Z. Make sure that... All of your affairs is 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 right. This is what you want to do. This is what you want to make sure that you have done. Now, when you get down to the uh, to your county spot or whatever, um, nine times out of ten, you're going to see people that you might know in terms of, like, not only prisoners that's there, but CEOs too. Don't fucking put them on the spot. Don't. Because you don't know who's watching. And you can fuck your own thing up jumping out there like that, trying to make it look like, Oh, nah, fuck with son or oh, shorty. I know her. She from the block. Don't do that. You wait. You wait until it's low. And you can say whatever you got to say to them. And they're going to do whatever they're going to do for you. But you don't want to put yourself in a place where they'll make sure that that never happens. You know what I mean? You don't you don't jump out there and do all the extra shit right out the gate. You, you be easy. You get to where you at. Now, when you get to wherever you're going, um... Uh, Peep the landscape, peep the layer. See who's there. Now, if you in a familiar place, or if you in a place that is close to where you from, or whatever, nine times out of ten, you're gonna know somebody who's there. Now, if you trust this person, yo, what's up? What's shaking? Uh uh uh. They're gonna put you on the house that is moving, and then you can, you know, just get in with you. But what you don't wanna do is. Let your emotions and the feeling of damn you just got bagged and all of this shit cloud your fucking judgment or cause you to do irrational shit because you already starting to fucking bed on the wrong foot. You understand? Number two, pick your friends, your associates. Don't let them pick. Don't let people fucking pick you because people have all kind of ulterior shit going on. And I'm going to tell you what. Niggas do, right? Spanish people, like, you'll notice this, right? When a Spanish person come into jail, all of the Spanish folks, they, they gather around, they check on him, make sure he's good, make sure he eat, 
give him food, shower, shoes. Gee, he might have a fucking bathrobe for him and all type of shit. Them Spanish niggas is not like a... Right? Niggas, this is what we do. You wait to see if who if this nigga right here got shit. If he don't have the... If nobody says nothing to him until... They see you come in with that motherfucking commissary bag. When they see that bag come, this is when you get all the motherfucking greetings. Yo, homie, hold on. Hey, yo, you from I, I, I. Niggas know who the fuck they they they, they be know it. Them niggas look, they'll wait to see if you got shit. If you don't have nothing, then nigga won't say shit to you. A nigga ice grill you for the whole day or two or however long it took for you to get some shit. Niggas that ice you around, look at you weird and shit. Whisper, tap his man, yo. Like, niggas is trying to get the drop. They trying to figure out who the fuck you are and what's happening with you. Till they see that bag. And then when they see that bag, it's a bunch of, yo, homie, ah, 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 yo, you need anything? Yo, anything you need, come holler at me. What the fuck you mean? You just came in there with a big ass bag. Nigga know you don't need him, man. Nine times out of ten, that nigga fucking need you, man. That nigga ain't get bag already. That nigga know what he gonna do with them honey buns that you bought. He get the, the peanut butter. Honey. Yo, look, man. Niggas be knowing what the fuck they gonna do with this shit already. Trust me, that jelly and shit. Cause niggas, it's all kind of shit, man. The, 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 the stupid, the fucking tray has certain shit on it. That niggas know what they gonna do with the rest. Them niggas that put the recipe, they lined it up. As soon as they see that bag, as soon as they see that bag, in their mind, they started cooking all kind of shit. They might have had their whole bed on me. Don't let niggas pick you. Don't think that niggas is cool because they not cool. Especially the wolves, man. Wolves smell somebody who they think that they can kind of manipulate and do what the fuck they want to do to. Don't be that person. Number three, don't do, don't make anybody do anything that you don't want to do. You have to drag your nuts. You have to stand up for who the fuck you are so niggas can, can know and understand that you're not going to be pushed around. You're not going to have shit dictated to you. Don't let people do what the fuck they want to do to you and don't do what the fuck you don't want to do. If you're not in a fucking game, don't get in a game. Do not become affiliated with fucking nothing. You will find yourself in so much stupid shit just because you wanted to be a part of some shit that's bigger than you. If you ain't fucking enough, learn how to be enough for you. Stand up. Do not let shit happen to you that you don't want to fucking happen to you. Because if you... Go back to the observation process that I told you about. You can look around at the members of who are affiliated with anything, and you will see how shit runs. This is not who the fuck you want to be, especially as a new member. Blood, Crip, Latin King, Yetta, Vice, whatever the fuck. When you come in, you are at the top of the list on who's about to do some dumb shit. Believe this, you will find yourself in the most precarious of situations if you do not take heed to this rule, number three. Don't become fucking affiliated with shit. It, nine times out of ten, I've seen so many people who do not even have a gang character become affiliated and wind up doing shit that they didn't want to do and then have all kind of shit happen to them. I've seen the the word get passed down, yo, this nigga right here, he a plate. You gotta do, do X, Y, and Z to him. And if you don't, X, Y, and Z that we telling you to do to him is going to be done to you. So either you are the giver or the receiver of this plate right here. Which one do you want to be? Now, for somebody who's this type of shit is not in their character, they, them niggas know they prey on certain people because... If this kind of shit is in your fucking character anyway, niggas ain't even fucking with you like that. They not coming to you with this shit because they, they have a general idea from the way that you move that they can't do this to you. Don't be the person that they feel that they can do this to because this definitely will be 
sprinkled on this plate right there, handed it to you like so. And what you do with it, then at that point, it's going to be on you, fam. So don't fucking get involved like this, especially if this is not the fucking person. If you don't even have this type of shit in you, don't be this fucking person. Don't see this shit and be like, yo. Don't let them trick you into feeling like you're going to be fucking protected. Don't, don't fall for this shit. Don't fall for this shit because if you's a bitch ass dude, you gonna be a bitch ass dude all the way through whether niggas is on your team but they not, man. Because it's just gonna be a different group of people that's doing the shit that you let them do to you anyway. You understand what I'm saying? Fuck with me, man. A nigga knows some shit. Fuck with me now. I done been down. I done been around all type of shit. If I've never come home blood, I've never come home fucking crip. I've never come home fucking nothing but who I went in there as. This is a fact. I never came home with my motherfucking face cut. I never come home with no goddamn stab wounds or nothing. I, I have my shit when, when I'm there, and it's real. It, it's just real shit. Don't fucking do shit you don't want to do. And don't become affiliated with shit. That's not for you, homes. Rule number three. Mm. Rule number four. If you are a person who had their shit in order and had some fucking money when you went to jail, or you have people taking care of you when they make sure that you're okay, don't let people use your shit. Because what happens is you might have to either seek some kind of compensation for your shit when you don't get it back or you might have to jump the fuck out there and fuck your whole bit up trying to get your shit back because somebody doesn't want to give your shit back. They felt fucking entitled to having your shit when you let them borrow it. When you let them hold that shit, they just felt inclined to tell you that that shit was now their shit. And now you find yourself with your back against the wall having to do some shit that you didn't plan on doing just because you was trying to be nice or trying to be cool. If you fortunate to have shit, keep your own shit. You'll have your own shit. Then you won't find yourself looking for shit from other people because you don't want to do that either. You don't want to borrow people's shit because now if some shit happens to their shit while you had it, they want to know what the fuck happened, where's their shit, and then... All kind of price tags might get put on this shit. What the fuck you mean? This shit was a pair of the fucking headphones. How this shit cost $200? But now what? What you gonna do? You gotta fight. You gotta do some shit you ain't wanna do. Because you had borrowed somebody else's shit, and now something happened to it. Leave nigga shit alone. If you don't have the shit, fuck it. Do without it. You gonna do without a lot of shit while you're in jail. Believe that. This shit right here is definitely... Not something that you can, that you don't know how to be without. Leave nigga shit alone. If you got your own shit, don't let niggas use your shit. Just keep, keep, keep what you got and, and, and ride out. Rule number five. So, 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 so motherfucking important in the joint. Mind your motherfucking business. If this shit has nothing to do with you, stay the fuck out of it. Stay the fuck away from it. Don't try to break up shit. Don't try to mediate shit. Don't try to clarify shit for nothing. If it's not fucking pertaining to you, if somebody didn't come directly address you and, and, and fucking wrap you up in some shit, or you don't have to do anything on your own behalf, mind your motherfucking business. Don't get involved. Yo, this is my man. Hold on. Nine times a day, you don't even know these niggas. Don't fucking get involved in shit that has nothing to do with you. Do not comment. Do not try to make sense of any of this shit. Do not try to clarify. Do not try to exonerate a motherfucker. Don't try to do shit. Turn you turn the other way. Watch what the fuck is happening over here. Do not get involved with shit. Mind you. Fucking business. I'm telling you, this is going to go a long way for you. This this is probably the fucking chief rule. This is the primary keep your ass at, at a stupid shit rule that, that there is. Mind your motherfucking business. Rule number five.